This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long, and now for the action. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Well, it doesn't matter how good your players are or what formation they're playing in, you have to earn the right to play. And I'm sure that will have been reiterated by both managers in the dressing room. It promises to be a really good game here. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supporting the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Andre Onana is the goalkeeper. Harry Maguire plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. Mason Mount starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the match begins. Amadou Onana, Emiliano Buendia, Matty Cash, Bubakar Kamara, Buendia, it's with Kamara, Bailey, Cash, Leon Bailey. Closing him down here. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, quite simply, away from home, they just don't get enough players into forward areas. They need to get the midfield players to make runs. They need the fullbacks to play higher up the field and the forwards to run behind the opposition. It has to change soon and it has to be today. Philogene. Look at Dinia. Jaden Philogene. And options in the center. When Dia must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Here's Luke Shaw. Here's Mount. United might be able to cash in. Fernandes. And they find a gap in the defence. 
Dallo. Rasmus Hoylund. And possibilities here. Fernandes. Now with Shaw. Takes it off. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Onana. Wendia. Lucadinha. Can he play it in? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Opening up for them. Bruno Fernandes. Corner conceded. An unfussy clearance. Delivering it. And it still could be dangerous. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Encouraging stuff from United. Now, options are plenty. Mount. On to Shaw. The cross is on. Well cleared away. Dallo. Now with Fernandes. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Onana Bubakar Kamara Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward The fans want to see a shot Here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. So there we have it. 2-1. He has teammates around him. Fluency of movement. Mount. And all doing their bit to keep them out. Fernandes 
Nice weight on the pass. And that's a very good parry. So approaching half-time with United behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first 45? Well, it's been a good game, but they've been second best in a couple of key areas. That needs to change in the second half, otherwise it's going to be a disappointing result for them. Pau Torres. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Boylund. And a long way out. Oh, my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Bubakar Kamara. Ollie Watkins. Spot on with that tackle. And he could be in proper trouble here. Oh, what an opportunity! And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Villa Park. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Maguire. Here's Luke Shaw. Mount. Well, this could really help the cause. And given away. Look at Dinia. And here is Mings. Here is Digne. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Aston Villa facing Fulham. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Leon Bailey. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Lucadin. Emiliano Buendia. Now the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. And a tidy tackle. Matty Cash. Pau Torres. A bit wasteful from Villa. Well, standing off them here. Aren't they being too passive? Besides the shoot. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, United can count themselves a little bit unlucky not to be leading here. A matter of inches, but you sense a goal is coming. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. Mount. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Leon Bailey. 
spot on with that challenge. Good through ball. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Bailey. Here's Matty Cash. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Manchester United facing Brentford. Onana. Now, what can they do from here? Dinia. Determined defending. Bailey. Buendia. And still looking for space. To be honest, well, I expected more as well, Derek. But from that sort of position, at every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Fernandes, now with Shaw, showing real patience, can they forge ahead? And he's clear as lines. Here's Luke Shaw. Mount. Can he finish? Carried away by the keeper. Well, these Villa fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming here. And nicely parried away. Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very entertaining so far. Mount. Ten for placement, maybe eight. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. We're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrating on finding a winner. Looking for a teammate. John McGinn. change then Mazraoui Bruno Fernandes has it it's a fine United move in the making Mazraoui and they deal with the threat this time Well, how important will that save be? That's a great piece of goalkeeping.
Who's going to get on the end of it? Not really the ideal clearance. Mount. On to Fernandes. No, he wasn't. Must be. And the keeper there to deal with it. Might be onto something with that ball. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. So the final whistle, and at the end of the game, well, neither side could get the better of the other. A point apiece. Manchester United, the draw from their point of view. What did you make of it? Well, before the game, I couldn't see where the goals would come from. But they had a totally different attitude today. They tried to play on the front foot, they got more players in the box, and they operated 10 yards further up the field. They didn't win, but it was a much better performance.